Hey everybody, it's Glenn back in this video with a new episode of Action Figure Evolution. You guys know the drill. We compare and contrast the various action figure incarnations of one particular character throughout the years. And in this episode, it's the turn of Abomination. Abomination is of course one of the Hulk's greatest enemies who like the Hulk was created by being exposed to gamma radiation and as a result he can often match the Hulk brawn for brawn. Let's kick it off with the very first Abomination from Toy Biz's 1996 Incredible Hulk line. Back then the Hulk animated series was on TV and had its own action figure line from which the Abomination was strangely absent but he did appear in this line which is more comic based. Compared to the Hulk, Abomination has always had a much more reptilian, monstrous, scaly look to him and this figure captures that. However, of course, it's very of its time with the sculpt and limited articulation. Comes with a raggedy cape that the Abomination was wearing at the time in the comics. And although I couldn't dig it out from underneath all the other action figure junk I have, it also came with a gun accessory that squirts water, cause you know, 1996. Then it would be another seven years before we got another Abomination, and this was in the Incredible Hulk's Classics line, a sister line of sorts to Marvel Legends, released to capitalise on the limelight the first Hulk movie was receiving, but featuring all comic and not movie based figures. Hulk Classics featured some really cool figures, with the Mecha Hulk from the line being one of my all time favourites. Alas, this abomination was not up there with the best the line had to offer. A lot of detail in the surface texture, but let down by minimal paint application. Plus the scale is lacking, which I'll return to later. Then this big ugly ass button on the back, and yes, I accept maybe action features help involve kids with playing, but if you're going to compromise the look of a character with a big button, then I expect a bigger action than just this. I mean, I hate to break it to you, Abomination, but it's going to take more than a slight shoulder jerk to defeat the whole. Plus, he's naked! Abomination usually wears trunks, as with the first figure, but not this one, revealing he has no genitals. And the character revelation of him having no no joystick might just explain why he's so darn angry all the time. Fast forwarding to 2006 and from the Marvel Legends sister line Hulk classics to the real deal with the Marvel Legends Onslaught series Abomination. But I'm pretty sure this was the second from last series of Legends under the banner of Toy Biz and looking at the figure you can tell the writing was on the wall in some regards as gone were the paint apps that had been the signature of the line early on and gone were some standard points of articulation for legends at the time, such as a wrist rotation and an ab crunch. Yet that said, who am I to complain? As with this one, we did actually get a scale worthy of abomination. So here he is compared to the Hulk Classics one, which we just looked at. Then here is a comparison with a regular six inch figure like Ant-Man, which when you think these retail for the same price, so it really shows off abominations, bang for your buck factor. And finally, it ain't an abomination worth a lick unless he can go nose to nose with the Hulk. In this instance, the Marvel Legends face-off one. In 2008, Marvel Studios attempted to wash away all memory of the first Hulk movie with their very own Incredible Hulk one, which featured the Abomination and this figure from the accompanying toy line. Definitely a better movie than the first one, but that set the bar so low that I still don't think the Marvel Studios one was that great, really. For me, part of that was to do with the character design design of the Abomination. I understand for the cinematic universe that they want to put their own stamp on a character, but much like the lizard from Amazing Spider-Man, it's a case of if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. And I implore these folks in future to sit down and think, am I really changing the design for the better, or just changing it for change's sake? 2011 gave us the Marvel Select Abomination, and boy is he a whopper, dwarfing the earlier Marvel Legends version. Technically, Marvel Select is a 7 inch scale line, but with different comic artists over the years rendering the Abomination with varying heights, you could like the Marvel Select Juggernaut and Rhino fudge this into your 6 inch scale Legends displays. Not only is he tall, but he has some serious weight to him. One for the adult collector for sure, as a little kid could seriously bash his kid sister's skull in with this one. Me personally, I use it to work out. One. Two, 
Oof. Beyond the wow factor of the size, a bone I have to pick with this one is the five toes. Abomination's two-toed feet has long been a signature of the character. Even the superhero squad one got that right. I searched the internet high and low for reference to him appearing five-toed and couldn't find any, so I guess they just got it wrong, unless you can tell me otherwise. I mean, even the movie version, while it had four toes, it did splay them in a way that I feel must be a nod to the classic two toes. And now our most recent contribution to Abomination is the Marvel Universe one, which as we see on the card back also saw a variant blue A-bomb, and we're back again to a naked Abomination with the added bonus of a head twice the size it should be. I don't hide the fact that I'm quite the detractor of the three and three quarter inch scale. I mean, for any long time collector like myself, I don't see how anybody could be pleased that the standard of the toy industry went from this to this. I'm just glad that with the Marvel Legends Infinite series and Star Wars Black series that the 6 inch scale is currently having quite the renaissance. Anyway, please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Click this video for the previous episode of Action Figure Evolution featuring everybody's favourite master of magnetism, Magneto. Alternatively, check out the description beneath this video for links to my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Click those links and connect with me there too. Hope to see you in my next video. Mm, bye.